Hi, my name is Anya Samik. I'm an Associate Professor of Research of Economics at the University of Southern California. I use field experiments to understand motivations and decision making in a wide variety of contexts, including in early childhood education. So my big project focuses on following the children who are part of a large-scale RCT or field experiment called the Chicago Heights Early Childhood Center. Between 2010 and 2014, we had a sample of uh, over 2,000 children ages 3 to 5 from disadvantaged areas south of Chicago join us to uh, participate in the study. In this study, we had uh, randomly assigned children to either receive a preschool education or to receive a parenting program in which parents learn how to teach to their children at home or they were in a control group which we called the family program and there we just followed the families over time. So we have these three groups and now these kids are older and we're trying to understand their trajectories in terms of developmental and schooling outcomes uh, comparing these kids who were part of our early childhood programs to kids who weren't. So a good way to talk about this is to use the CHECK or the Chicago Heights Early Childhood Center project as an example. In that study, we, were, uh, we had the children in a very controlled setting. So we hired our own teachers who were the highest quality teachers we could find. We monitored the program closely. I was there on a daily basis uh, doing assessments, uh, talking to parents, talking to children, talking to teachers. And uh, that program ran like, uh, like a laboratory. Now the problem with that is that once you scale that up, now you aren't able to assure the fidelity of that program implementation. And so although we find very strong short-term impacts of this program on cognitive skills, it's not clear whether we could train a different school district to run the program in the same way. So what we're doing now is we're actually partnering with another school district where they're going out and using our curriculum. We're training their teachers, but it's the district hiring the teachers, and then we're taking a hands-off approach. And we're doing a similar RCT design where we're randomly assigning some children to receive the program and others not, but we're studying how this looks in a more uh, real setting without the control that we had in the lab. And I think that's important because we might expect effects to be less, and we really want to know what the magnitude of the effects are in order to make policy recommendations. Well, I think it's very important to think about where the projects would be applied. So once the ex very controlled experiment has been run, trying to find field partners that would be willing to then scale that up and run that in their districts is quite important. That's important both for understanding how the effects might fade out at a scaled up study, but it's also important for reproducibility of the results. So we want to make sure that we test programs in a variety of contexts with a variety of populations before we make the policy prescriptions that these should be, that these should be administered everywhere. I think we generally need more research on a single topic. So what I find often in economics and in other sciences is that one person does one study on a particular topic and then we reference that study forever and no one bothers to come back to it to try to reproduce the study or to try to scale that project up, partly because there aren't good um, incentives to do that for, for an academic. So for myself, I get a lot more exciting uh, feedback from my colleagues if I come up with something new and very controlled that shows really big effects, but that's not as helpful for policy. So with the uh, incubator, I think you have now given people the incentive to do more of this type of scaling work because there's more recognition for it at the University of Chicago, and I think that's very important. I think having a broader set of papers that target a similar topic is important for helping with reproducibility and scalability and giving people the impetus to work on that type of research is, is really what it seems like you're all about.